to direct immigration from Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2016. There are two ways to upgrade existing Windows Server 2012 R2 Active Directory environment to Windows Server 2016. The first one is in place upgrade. This method is the easiest and quickest method. It only requires to put the Windows Server 2016 installation media to the DVD ROM and do the OS upgrade. But this method is more risky and requires downtime. The second method is Active Directory migration to Windows Server 2016 version. This is the method that is recommended by most of the administrator, which does not require any downtime. In this video series, we are going to see the steps for Active Directory migration to Windows Server 2016 version. According to this video series, first of all, you have to join Windows Server 2016 server to existing Active Directory domain. Then after completing the prerequisites and domain preparation, this new server will be promoted as an additional domain controller. All the Active Directory object will be replicated to the new server and it will work as an Active Directory domain controller to the existing Active Directory service. Then you can transfer the FSMO roles to new Windows Server 2016. After transferring the roles, new Windows Server 2016 DC will work as a primary domain controller. And then you can decommission the existing domain controllers. Before doing so, please add another Windows Server 2016 DC as an additional domain controller to handle the loads and also as a DR. This method does not need any downtime and if you follow this video correctly, you can do a smooth upgrade process to Windows Server 2016 Active Directory Domain Service. So these are the total 5 steps which we have to perform. First, we have to join Windows Server 2016 to existing Windows Server 2012 R2 domain. Then we will prepare our Windows Server 2012 R2 domain for Windows Server 2016 domain controller. In a third video, we will install an additional domain controller for an existing Windows Server 2012 R2 domain. In the fourth step, we will transfer the all the AppSumo role to new Windows Server 2016 domain controller. And in the last step, we will demote the existing Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller. And that will be the final step for our migration guide. So first of all, let's understand the lab scenario for this mini video series. For this demonstration, I am using Oracle VirtualBox VMs and first VM is our Windows Server 2012 R2 Domain Controller. Let's click on local server and as you can see, our computer name is SRTF and DC01, our domain name is mylab.local and we have assigned IP 192.168.49.5 and as you can see, the operating system version is Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Evolution Edition. Let's open Active Directory Users and Computers. Let's click on Domain Controllers Container and this is your Domain Controller. That is SRT, I have fun, this is 01 for this demonstration. Now let's uh, look at our second VM and that is our Windows Server 2016 Data Center Evolution Edition. Let's check the IP configuration of this uh, Windows Server 2016 computer. Let's run a command IP config. And as you can see, we have assigned the IP 192.168.49.16 and our gateway address is 192.168.49.1 And our DNS server address is 192.168.49.5 And that is the IP address of our Windows Server 2012 R2 Domain Controller. So in the next part of this video series, we will join our Windows Server 2016 computer to our existing Windows Server 2012 R2 MyLaptop Local Domain. Thank you for watching this video.